hard work for our young children. Um, Mr. Schuster approached me and said, hey, we got to do something with these kids. So um, they found the funding and we started this, this summer camp. And um, we have no regrets for it whatsoever. Um, it was a five week program. They had four hours of instruction every day for five weeks. Two hours was in arts and craft and two hours in Mokojumbi performing. And in five weeks, this is what we have accomplished. So give them a round of applause. I want to take this time to, um, but let me say a little more about this curriculum. We did more than arts and crafts in Mokojumbi. Every week, every Friday, we had a field trip because we know it's important for our children to have exposure. And exposure is what it's about. So we made an effort to do that. Um, the first week we went to um, Caribbean Museum Center for the Arts. So that was their exposure towards art. Um, while we were there, we went to Fort Frederick. We had a tour there. And we also had some fun in a new park down in Frederickstead. Um, the second week, we had a walking tour of Christianstead. And they got a lot of history about Christianstead, about um, free God and, and where the free slaves lived and all about the buildings in Christianstead, etc. And we also visited two art galleries in Christianstead. Then the third week we did a walking tour of the uh, St. George's Botanical Gardens. So they really had exposure about our flora in, in the Virgin Islands, the native species of plants, etc. They even had a, um, a medicinal garden where all the different kinds of bush tea growed and it was growing and they were explained to them the uses for each of the bush tea. And then our final tour, the fourth week, was at the East End Marine Park. I don't know if any of you guys ever listened to John Fashetti when he gives a talk, but he is, in effect, a walking encyclopedia of knowledge on St. Croix. And our children had that exposure with him. So those, um, those lessons, I think, were important for them because they're not just learning arts and crafts. They're not just learning how to perform on stilts. We want to teach them how to be good human beings. And it's all about this exposure. Um, many of the afternoons, I would lecture them on the history of the Mokojumbi. But more importantly, I, I, had, I made sure that they, the, each of them had the opportunity to stand up and explain um, how they feel about things. And, and what their knowledge is. And so that exposure on being able to, to speak uh, clearly to people, or public speaking was important, and they all did a wonderful job in that. So let me take this opportunity to introduce to you our teachers. In the arts and crafts, we had Ms. Charlita Schuss, Shang. Where is Charlita Shang? Please come up next to me. Also in arts and crafts, uh, a lady that I met recently, her name is Curlis Solomon John. You know I'm being sarcastic there. So these, these two ladies um, really headed up the arts and crafts section. And when we talk about arts and crafts, let me tell you some of the things that they did. And I want you to walk back there a little later on, on the trail itself. We have put up some of the work that they did. Um, we made grass skirts. The mask that the children were wearing, they made it themselves. The hats that they were wearing, they decorated them themselves. There's a bunch of madras pens that they made on the table over there, you'll see them. There's also some windmill pens. There are some butterflies that they made out of clothes pins. They're up on the trailer wall with magnets, you will see them. There, there are picture frames that they made out of popsicle sticks. So I took photographs of each of them and then we put the picture in the frame that they made. Um, Miss Betts Rob, I think you're here. We asked Miss Betts Rob to come in and do a workshop on seashells. Uh, Betts, please stand and come up. I want people to see you. She uh, spent four hours with them doing the workshop on seashells. And if you look up on the, on the trailer wall, you'll see a big sign that says Synergy. 
Well, they're all made from seashells. There's also a series of medallions in which they took um, an image that had some significant meaning and they decided to replicate that image on a medallion that they will wear around the neck. That is also on the table. So we thank Ms. Rob for her um, workshop. Um, the the Mokojumbi t-shirts under the auspices of Ms. Shang, they decorated them and made them themselves. Yes. And once again, the big synergy sign and uh, the symbol really are co-incentric circles. And that shows that there were two organizations that came together to make this camp work. And speaking of two organizations, I'm gonna ask Mr. Schuster to come up and give us a little history about Synergy. And after this talk, I'm gonna ask a couple of our professional Mukajumbis to put their stuff on. They can start now, and they're gonna do a brief performance for you as well. Mr. Troy Schuster. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. And it's such a great pleasure to see all of you and to see our children, huh? Walking on stilts in just four weeks. They came not knowing how to even put on stilts and now they're able to walk in them and even dance in them. There were some of them that were quite scared in the beginning. I think some were almost on the verge of tears. But the instructors were so good, so patient, so kind, so understanding, so well experienced that they, they stuck with it and they learned and, and they progressed. And each time I, I met with the young people here at the camp and asked them what their thoughts were, they said this was a great camp, they loved it. I asked them if they want to come again next year and all of them said yes. So I hope they're giving you all the same feedback at home, right? Same feedback? Okay, great, <laughs> great. Yeah, so the organization of which I'm a part is Entre el Pueblo in the town. And Entre el Pueblo is, is a nonprofit geared toward outreach toward the Hispanic community, especially the uh, Dominicano community here on the island. And so what we were hoping initially was to get more, more Dominicanos involved in the art of Mocajumbis to fully incorporate them into the culture here. Uh, we end up with, with two or three Dominicanos, and then we had other non-Dominicanos. And so it's all wonderful, all the inclusivity, everybody coming together. And we're so very pleased that Guardians of Culture has agreed, had agreed to work with us on this, and they did a really, 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 really great job. And you know, looking at, at Mr. John and my cousin Shalita Shang and, and Curlis Solomon, we have, I think, over a hundred years of experience and education between those three educators. So they really know how to work with our young people and they did a fantastic job. So another round of applause for Guardians of Culture and the Mokachumbi instructors who actually worked so hard with them. That's right, you didn't introduce the Mokachumbi instructors. Jamal Rosa? Where's Jamal? Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, come forward. And you're, you're running away. <laughs> Floyd Stevens and Jamal Rosa. And these are our two expert Mocha Jumbies, well experienced in the art. I do want you to pick them up because they really worked hard with these youngsters. And um, a very good product. I mean, most of you may know or may not know this. It's not easy to learn this art form and you don't do it in a short period of time. So the accomplishments that these two gentlemen made, uh, Aaron Morales, where are you? He helped us out quite a bit. He came to us from the Department of Labor as a summer student, and he became a teacher. Um, so give him a round of applause. So these three gentlemen, along with our two arts and crafts teachers, worked wonders. And not only were they able to teach the skills, but they blended with the children well, and um, it was well received. Okay, Jeff. Wait. And again, I'm so happy that all of the children are safe. That was my big concern every day. I didn't want to send any one of them home with broken bones. And so <laughs> one of our Mokajumbi instructors, I think it was Jamal, told me that, well, if they fall, the ground will catch them. <laughs> well, the ground doesn't always catch softly. <laughs> so. Again, thank you all for being here. We hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I'm also the cook, so I gotta get back to the grill. And so, 
Oh, certificates. Oh, we have certificates to give out. Okay. Certificates. You got to take care of the grill back there. Yes. And Wilfredo Guzman. Wilfredo. Anyhow, he's busy back there. He's, he's a president and founder of Entre el Pueblo. And, and this was really Wilfredo's vision. This is really Wilfredo's vision to, to bring this summer camp um, to fruition. So, thank you. And Vanessa Swanson helped a lot too to coordinate. Vanessa back there. And Vanessa and Wilfredo are, are co workers by day and conspirators by afternoon and weekend, bringing all of this together. <laughs> Vanessa. So, a round of applause again. So, okay, okay, so we're transitioning now to the distribution of certificates. I've been told I'm going back to the grill and somebody else is coming up. So, uh, where are we? Okay, bear with us just one moment. What are Mr. Schuster, you're dismissed, and Mr. Guzman is going to come and help us. Um, you know, we had a very good experience with each one, so we're going to present them these certificates, but we all got together and we decided to do a, a brief description of each one that they're all in agreement with. So, our first student, um, actually, it's two brothers, and, and we call them Alexander and Alexander, like the law firm, you know. So the first one is Tariq Alexander. Tariq is a very fast learner. He is quiet. He is considered the cool dude. He is quite respectable. Tariq Alexander. Mom got to take a picture. So when you come up, come up on this side and get the certificate and then shake hands going down. Our next, his brother, Taj Alexander. Taj is quite a person. How athletic he is. As a matter of fact, he represents the Virgin Islands soccer team. And he has to leave right now to go play soccer. We call him, uh, we, we've given each other nicknames, you know, so he is known as Cousin Jumbi. He's a respectable young man. He learns fast. He's very athletic and he's very articulate. Our friend, Taj Alexander. And give them a round of applause because they have to leave. Our next person is Mr. Lloyd Bow III. So I guess some of you are going to guess what his nickname is. And that is Chatterbox. But let me tell you something about Lloyd. He's very energetic. He is a fast learner. When he puts his mind to it, he can get the job done. His first week here, he didn't want to deal with the arts and crafts. He just wanted to be on the stilts. So he said, I don't like this. I can't do it. I can't do it. And our two arts and craft teachers persisted and he got his work done. Give Lloyd Bow a loud of applause. The next one is Miss Inaya Deland. Inaya. You know what they call Inaya? Miss Glue. Miss Glue. They call her that because she likes to play with glue. <laughs> she is a determined young lady. She came a week late and she caught up and surpassed some of the others by the second week that she was there. So give Anaya a big round of applause. Sequan Evans. His nickname is Brother Jumbi. So Sequan is considered very laid back. He is the group comedian and he is a steady learner. Give him a round of applause. Our next wonderful 
student, Sophia Fitzgerald. Sophia is also known as Sophia the First. I understand there's some, some movie, some picture called Sophia the First, so that's her nickname. She is a very deliberate learner. She believes in safety and she blends well with everyone. Give her a round of applause. Here comes my good friend, Mr. Khalil Jeffers. He is known as Maxwell. I don't know where he got that name Maxwell from, but that's what they call him. He's very sharp. He is very funny. He is a fast learner, and he's an excellent public speaker. Mr. Maxwell. Our next student is Ainsley Marlowe. Ainsley, where are you? I don't see her. Oh, here she comes. Ainsley is very quiet, but once you know her, she's quite friendly. She's very good at artwork. She pays attention to details. In spite of her fear at heights, she constantly tries. So give her a round of applause. Azalea Mendez, also known as Leah. Azalea is also very determined and a fast learner. And everyone just loves her. Give Azalea a round of applause. And now her sister, Kalani Mendez. So Kalani's claim to fame is she was the very first student to loose her out and go out on her own to balance on her stilts. The very first one. So we're very proud of her. Our next student is Mr. Omar Mutidi. Now, Omar came to the group because he knows a little bit about Bokajumbi. He is a member of the Guardians of Culture, so he knows what he's doing. He's very active, he's an experienced Bokajumbi, and he's willing to demonstrate and show the others his skills. Give him a round of applause. Please smile, Omari. Oh my. Okay, so our, our, next, our next two are sisters. We call them Plant and Plant. The first one is Jamelia Plant. And her nickname is Chung Chung. I don't know where that came from, but that's Chung Chung. Chung Chung is the spokesperson of this group. She is so articulate. When you want to know anything about the group, you ask her and she will explain it in very colorful language. She's observant and she is funny. And now her sister, Rose Plant. And we call her Plant a Rose. Yes, because when you plant that rose, it will bloom forever. She's a very rosy person, a very steady learner. She is quite creative, meticulous about her work, and all is always willing to help without being asked. When she comes in the morning, she gets the, the cloth and she wipes all the tables down. She sets everything up without asking her to do it. So give Rose a round of applause. Our next one is Caden Rivera. Caden just loves being a Mukajumbi. One day it rained and we had to cancel classes and he was so upset. He was so upset because he could not come and dance on his stilts. When, when, um, when it's time for him to do arts and crafts, he's, he's depressed. Uh, he hurries to get his work done so he can get back up on the stilts. He's quite athletic and um, 
we look forward to him joining the, the, the professional group. And finally, but certainly not least, Mr. Jeremiah Ventura, otherwise known as JV. So I, I got to tell you the story, two stories about JV. The first three days that JV went on his stilts, he cried. And I'm serious, he cried like a baby. He was so afraid, he cried and he cried and he cried. After the third day, you won't believe that was the guy that was crying. And you see him now, he is fantastic here. We call him, we call him, for that reason, we call him the caterpillar. Because he comes out of a as a caterpillar and then he blooms as a butterfly. And, and I have a little joke with him. He lives in Florida. But he loves this thing so much, I said he needs to talk to his mother about moving here. So um, him, his aunt and I have an agreement, you know. He might be staying. Right, Opti? So that's, that's our students. We hope that you appreciate it. Um, I, if any of the students want to come up and say anything, I want to give you that opportunity. Additionally, if any parent want to come up and say anything, you can also have that opportunity. Okay, Omar wants to say something. I love this camp and I want to come back next year. All right. I just want to thank the parents for coming out today. I wish to see Mr. John next year, hopefully. And they, that's about it. Hi, mommy. Hi, daddy. I love this camp. It's so exquisite. I know. I know. And I hope to come next year. Please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. I just want to say that my. My teachers are so nice. Um, I love this camp, and I wish to come back next year. This camp was really exciting and fun, and everyone's super nice. And I thank the teachers for setting this camp up, and I really hope I can come back next year. All right, give them all a round of applause. But all the students, please give your parents a round of applause because you are here because of them. Okay, so what we're going to do next is I'm going to have two of the professional Mokojumbis do a short performance. You also have the opportunity to walk around and look at the arts and crafts. Thank you. <laughs> I know drink water and my business. I drink water and my business. I go drink water and my business. Drink water and my business. Who me? I don't watch people, man. I look in for house and land. Who me? I don't watch people think. I'm a queen. I am my own king. I'm some of them that stop the most. Like they know it's all. I go drink water and mind my business. Mind my business. Drink water and mind my business. Mind my business. I go drink water and mind my business. Mind my business. Drink water and mind my business. Me and them, me and them can't be friends. I find the battle and Jaggy me help and strength. No, it's we, we, we. That can't be English. That has to be French. Are some of them that stop the most? Like they know it all. But if the ground water slip and I fall. Police and you is the thief. The people you think is your friend. Them only day, cause you have money to spend. Are some of them that stop the most? Like they know it all. But when your head hot and can't see your way, who you guys call? I go drink water and mind my business. Mind my business. Drink water and mind my business. I go drink water and mind my business. 
Alright, a round of applause for Floyd Stevens, one of our teachers, and Mr. Ayo John. Thank you very much, guys. So, the next thing we want you to do is come up to the table and each of the students...